ghost. Yes. I want to see some damn ghost. I, I've been wanting to experience some shit. Yeah, I've actually, me and my brother have genuinely experienced a ghost uh, encounter. Please tell us. I will tell, tell you. I will, I will tell you. Uh, we have, like, this patio in our house, and it leads into the living room, which goes down the hallway. And we're, like, messing around. We're, like, he was in high school. I was barely, like, elementary. Messing around? But can you not? Oh, my like, God. Specify what you guys were doing. That we, just sounds stupid. Do you know what century we're living in? Shit, like. There's nasty stuff. <laughs> we were, like, in the patio, like, I, I don't remember. We were just, like, hanging out and, like, being stupid. I was little. And, um, we were in the patio, and then, you know, you see something in your peripherals, and it, it looked, I remember it looked like the Grim Reaper. I'm not going to lie, kind of like the coat with the hood, and I remember it was floating, and it had no feet. And I stopped, and my were brother... Were smoking? No. And my brother stopped... And I was like, what? And he was like, did you see that? And I was like, yeah. We both seen that shit in the corner of our eyes. So it wasn't just our peripherals. And then we went in our parents' living room, which is um, down the hall. And he doesn't remember. I just don't think he wants to remember. But I remember. Yeah, when, our brother is like Yeah, that. he's like that. He, <laughs> he picks he, and chooses yeah, what to remember. He picks and chooses. <laughs> but, um... He doesn't want to remember it, but I know. I remember clear as freaking day that uh, in my parents' room, they have the bathroom, which connects, and we have cabinets, and all of them were open at the bottom. And really? Yeah, they're all open, and then we called our grandma, and we are like, you know, like, the w these things are open here, and, like, we're really scared, and she was like, well, maybe it's the wind, and they're pretty heavy. Like, wind can't open them. It's impossible. And well, they're not really that heavy, but... It takes the, where force. the bathroom is, there's no, like, air yeah. way like that. It would take force, and, like, she she didn't know what it could have been, and I remember we just locked ourselves in our parents' room until my dad came home. Because the ghost can't get in there. No. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, either way, we were screwed, but we felt safe with the door locked, and... Anyways. Okay, um, the ghost experience I had was when I was working at Big Lots, um... I was a stalker there, so that's where you put out, like, all the merchandise and stuff. So, um, they had told me when I got hired that someone had died there, and they have to let us know because of ghost experiences and stuff. And then, like, the warehouse was, like, a big owl shape. Like, it was really fat on this side. Um, not, like, an L, you know? So, it was fat on this side, and then it went down to a narrow, um hallway or whatever connecting to the furniture department and um there was when I had loaded up my six-wheeler I was walking out of the warehouse and a customer had said that they wanted someone in the furniture department so then I didn't want to walk through there and interact with more freaking customers so I went around the back way and I seen the furniture guy department in the middle and it looked like he was on the phone and he had his leg up on the um, mattress like leaning back and I told him that there was customers over there, and he just, like, looked at me, and I was like, there's customers over there, are you going to go, or, you know, whatever, and then he just looked at me, and then, like, just went like that, like, back on his phone or something, so I was like, whatever, you know, you're going to get in trouble, so then as soon as I walked out of the warehouse, he was walking in, <coughs> and he's the only one that works in the furniture department. Were you, like, creeped the fuck out, like, were you, like, yeah, scared, like, as soon as I popped open, you know, they were, like, those flippy flappy doors, so as soon <laughs> as I went out, he went in, and I was like, oh, shit, I was like, what the fuck, I was like... Oh. Were you just over there? And he was like, no. And I was like, swear, you were not over there. And he said no. And then he was like, where did you see? He, but he ended up helping those customers. So he had already helped them because I was like, I just went to go tell you that you had customers. And he was like, yeah, about the whatever they wanted or whatever. And I was like, yeah. And then so I showed him where I seen him. And he said that he wasn't over there. He was helping those customers. And he said that, oh, you know, there's a ghost here, right? And I was like, yeah. Whatever. Enough said. Don't. Goodbye. <laughs> right. Goodbye. <laughs> um, cool story, bro. <laughs> okay, next.